Yo, what is up guys? It's Mars bro. Welcome back to the channel guys and we got ourselves a special video today. Why is it so special? Because guys, this is my first Balasan collection video. I initially jumped into the community uh, sometime early last year and I've been flipping and collecting ever since and I'm so excited to show you guys what I have. Um, I have done a few unboxings on some of these knives, not all of them. If I have, I'll definitely leave a link up in the corner for a more in-depth video on them if you guys want to check that out. But with further ado, Let's jump right in. So guys, this um, first knife um, is was actually given to me by a friend who has now um, passed away. Um, so this is more of a sentimental uh, value to me. Um, I got this knife, it was my first knife I ever flipped with. I think I got it in like 2006, 2007, around there. And I only flipped it for like a little while. I just learned basic openings and I pretty much put it down after that and I totally regret it. I'd be one hell of a flipper if I never put this down. But guys, this is just some CCC, nothing too special about it. But it's something that's always gonna, it's always gonna be dear to my heart. This next one is actually same story, given to me by the same guy. I kinda, at the time, I was a kid. I uh, thought it was a very cool blade style. It's still interesting, but guys, trust me, flipping it is, uh, it's a nightmare. It's so long, it's so big, and it's just, it's not exact, it's it's just metal on metal on metal. It's just, ugh. But the value, the sentimental value to me, so I'm always gonna have that part of my collection. So this very next one um, is actually kind of like a novelty item for me. It's very cheap, it's fun to flip, it's pretty much legal everywhere. It is the Spyderco Balio by Fisher Space Pen. This, this little guy, you can actually flip it, it is pretty good. Um, I didn't see any videos on YouTube as far as the wing, so I th thought I'd take the initiative and, you know, I'll make my own video on the wing. So I went ahead and did that. Toe sick. So the next one I got in line is the Andux Land Folding Balasong Trainer. This is the uh, Mamba Clone. I did get the orange with the blue liners. This thing is probably the cheapest Balasong Trainer that I own. It was mainly inspired by uh, Will Hirsch. He, he was pretty much my inspiration as far as making YouTube videos. I wanted to help the YouTube Balasong community grow, so I thought I'd jump in. And this was such a great option. I picked it up. I loved it. So I was like, you know what? I'll put a video up for it too. If you guys even haven't seen uh, Will Hirsch's video, definitely check it out he makes some awesome content him and his buddy Brandon um, moving on so this is the OG of trainers guys if you don't even know what this is this is the OG squiddy um, this thing is definitely a nice piece definitely pick it up very cheap if it wasn't for the Andux land folding trainer I would have probably recommended this one this is just so awesome it was a little handle heavy compared to the other squiddies but nonetheless this is an awesome trainer if you haven't picked one up definitely pick it up it's, you, you won't regret it, you won't regret it. It's really cheap, unless you're, you know, you're all bougie and you only get high-end stuff. I don't know. Next one we got is another Squiddy product. It is a Squiddy G, guys. So the Squiddy G, I actually picked up recently just because of the announcement that uh, Squid Industries made. They were gonna discontinue the Squiddy G. And I wanted to collect every piece of the Squid Industry Bella songs because they all make some pretty sweet stuff. So I picked this one up, pretty nice piece. It's a little more, it's a, a little more neutrally balanced than the OG Squiddy, um, but I like it, I love it. Next one we got in line is my last Squiddy. This is the Squiddy B, guys. I love, this is my favorite Squiddy. It's got the best balance, and the cool thing about it, it has the O-rings for some near silent flipping. So, you know, you can be quiet, you know, because uh, you can be in any kind of situation. You know, if you gotta be quiet, boom, this is all you, you want to flip late at night? Oh, you dog. The Squiddy B. It's probably my favorite Squiddy, hands down. So next one we got, guys, is another Squid Industries product. Guys, what can I say? They make sweet stuff. Um, this one here is the Squid Industries Mako V3. I decided to get this one in blue, um, and it looks really cool. I don't know, the blue reminds me of like the ocean, then you got your shark. Cool thing about this one is it's also a bottle opener, so really nice little novelty piece. And for the price, this thing is a great trainer too. It's just, it's got good balance, it's got, for the price, it's it's definitely a nice pickup, so definitely pick one up if you guys want one. I don't know, I like it. If you guys don't, don't pick it up. Next one we got is the Squid Industries Squid Trainer 3.5. Um, this one was, I think, my first trainer. 
I've beaten the hell out of it. Like you can see the bottom there, like I've beaten it so much. It is like one of my dailies, my EDCs. I kind of beat it, beat it. I might eventually just buy another one down the line. I'm pretty sure I will. But yeah guys, Squid Trainer 3.5. Awesome, awesome Balasong Trainer. One of my faves. Next up guys, we got the Squid Industries Nautilus. Guys, oh my god, this thing is just such a unique flipper. It's so cool, it's so light. It's got such good grip on it with the G10 um, overlays. Ah, I, I love this thing. This thing is just so cool. It's one of the few tank things that I love, but definitely pick up a Nautilus if you guys haven't already. And I just love the whole black and red theme on it. It looks sick. All right, so, uh, best for last, guys. We got ourselves our last Squid Industries product right here. If you guys don't already know what it is, this is the Squid Industries Cracker Racken, AKA Kraken. This is the buoy profile. I would love to have the uh, Tonto red and black one. That thing is so sick, but I'm really happy with my buoy. It's so awesome. And I mean, these things are just amazing, amazing flippers overall. Squid Industries, keep doing what you're doing. Can't wait for that tsunami, by the way. So guys, we're gonna change it up a little bit. We got, the next is a Glider Arctic Umi Edition. So the Glider Arctic is a sandwich construction. I think it is the budget uh, balasong of Glider. Um, it's a pretty nice balasong. It is a little handle heavy. I'm not too, too crazy about it, but I've never used the Bella, I mean, one from Glider, so, well, never mind. This is actually my third Glider product that I've ever used. Forget I said that, but it's a nice little piece. Um, not exactly my favorite, but I'm glad I got it. Uh, I just, it's a nice piece. This next one is the Glider OG3. Um, the OG3 is not exactly, it's, it's a nice trainer. Not exactly one of my most favorite products. Um, as you can see, I did, I wasn't even doing anything, but like the, the pivot head or the screw head just broke off from flipping. I was like, what? The? So now the screw's kind of stuck in there. I'm not really sure what to do, but very handle heavy, but I do love the ASMR from these handles. They make a nice, nice little, nice little noise. It's very pleasing, but the hardware broke. I gotta buy some more. Next, guys, we got a very sick one right here. This is a, um, a very neutrally balanced balasong. It is the NRB Vortex. I love how I got the acid wash with the black handles. This thing is a very neutral flipper. I love flipping this thing, and I just love how it looks all blacked out like that. Very nice piece, very good price. Definitely check them out. Next, we got up the NNRB Nemesis. The Nemesis is the titanium trainer that uh, NRB made. Um, he actually has a live blade variation now. I kind of want to see if I can buy just a blade. He did say um, that we would be down the line, just not, you know, at launch. I haven't gotten back to him since, but guys, this Nemesis is very nice. It's got a little booty weight, but not too bad. I, I, I love flipping this thing. It's, it's a very close to my Gale. Like, I, I can't even, I can't decide. I probably like my Gale more. What am I talking about? I don't know. Oh, it's so hard to pick them. Next one we got, guys, is probably one of my favorite Bella songs. Um, this one was actually a gift. Um, I, I love this Bella song. I love its 7075 aluminum. Aluminum. It's a very good beater for the price, and I just love the length, the the width of the handles, the weights. I, I the only thing I probably don't like about this is the tolerances. Like I don't know why they're so they have the worst tolerances out the box. I mean. But I don't know, I'll probably get a Graviton later. And that'll definitely replace that, but I'm never getting rid of you. It's just such a nice flipper. Next one, we got, this one I would have probably shown a little earlier, but I did swap, I did do a mod to this one. I swapped out these scales for the Flytanium Titanium scales. And guys, I love this thing so much more. So much more, the balance on it is just way better. Speaking of the Lucha, uh, Flytanium actually sent me some more washers because I bought the aluminum handles for this. Initially, I didn't like the aluminum handles. I'm gonna try those washers on. They kind of just mailed them to me, like not anonymously, randomly without me knowing. And um, apparently they've been getting some bad feedback on the washers, so they send in some hardened washers to, you know, better, better tolerances. Next one we got, guys, is the Spitzko Zephyr. Guys, this thing is actually a very nice Balasong. 
for the price. Um, you got some bushing, 7075. It's really a really, really nice bell song. I wish it kind of had some jimping on the ends here. But I guess that's why you need to get the Gale. Um, very sick. I believe this one's the V3. Spitzko, you make some pretty sweet trainers, man. You keep up doing what you're doing, man. All right, guys, next one up. We got another Spitzko product. It is the Spitzko Gale. I think this is my first Bella song. I'm showing you guys with a little, it's got a nice ding to it. Bing. Wind chimes, yo. Same thing with the other side. I love it. When you're flipping it, it just it just sounds like bells. Bing, bong, bing. It's such a good flipper too. This is a Chanwich construction. It was my first Chanwich and he did such an amazing job on it. I love this thing. Probably one of my favorite trainers. Top three. I don't know. I don't know. I, I love all my knives. They're like my babies. I can't I can't get rid of them. All right, guys. Next one. Oh, I believe this was my first. You know, forget that. I was going to say uh, my first uh, out of the country bell song. But the gliders are from Australia. Boop. So this is my first Russian knife. If you guys don't already know who it is, it is Atropos Knives. This is the Demon 2 with Zen Pen design. Um, I really like Zen Pen, so I decided to go with that. The only thing I don't like is maybe like the Zen Pen screws, but I really like the whole pattern, whole pattern on the handles. Very nice grip, um, and yeah, just an overall pretty sweet bell song. I, I I like the Tonto, and it. I personally really like this knife. It's it's a pretty good flipper. Not complaining. Razor sharp too when I got it from him. All right, guys, this knife isn't really talked about too much. We are looking at the Hinder Nieves V3. This one is actually a pretty good underrated knife. Not a lot of people really talk about it, but it's a pretty sick knife. Um, I would like to dehorn the blade here, but um, I don't know. I'm not really. I haven't pinched myself too too much to where like it's killing me. So, but a really really nice bell song, titanium sandwich. If you guys don't know about it, definitely check it out. It's a really sweet blade, trust me. So next, guys, we got a sick piece. We are looking at the Chioni by No Lob. I believe you pronounce it No Lob. I don't know. Um, but a very sick piece. I love this thing. It's a titanium uh, channel construction, and it's got good balance. I was so happy when I got this one. Um, when I got it, there was no tap. I can't seem to get the tap out now. I don't know, but still, I love this thing so much. Chioni. Definitely check that one out if you guys haven't already. Alright guys, I kind of didn't want to mention too much about this one. But guys, this is my Benchmade 42 clone. Yes, it's, it's a clone. Please don't hate me for that. Um, Benchmade 42s aren't exactly the easiest to come by. But uh, I just decided to get a, a clone, you know, mainly if you guys watch Will Hurst's video, he does talk about him, and I grabbed one of my own, and this thing, honestly, I, I flipped quite a few knives, and this thing flips pretty good. You know, the bushings, it does come with bushings on this one, by the way, um, I think are a little undersized, but it's nonetheless, it's a really good flipper. I love it. It's, I don't know, it's already part of my collection. Woo! All right, next one we got is a nice bell song. I feel like I just had to get it. This is the Benchmade 51 um, with a Space Invader mod. I did buy the Flytanium Trainer. I'm waiting for the blade to come out and some scales. I've been waiting from Knife Center for months on this. Months! And they I don't know. I don't know what is going on. I'm almost close about canceling the order because I've been waiting so long. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to add a few more mods on this knife. It's a nice, nice little piece, guys. Love the Space Invader mod, too. He's sick. Next one we got up is the Benchmade 87. When I initially saw this knife, I was... It was probably one of my first knives. I just love this this Warren Cliff style blade. You don't see that a whole lot on knives. And it was Benchmade, and again, I was kind of ignorant at the time. I didn't know a whole, whole lot. I just figured, like, Benchmade's a shit. Um, they had the 4X series and those were awesome and I assumed the 8X were just as good, but I was wrong! Um, but anyways, very sweet knife. I'm still happy I got it. It's a nice little piece there. Alright guys, this is my last Benchmade product. And that is, if you haven't guessed it, I don't know. The Benchmade 87, 85, I'm sorry, I was about to say 87 again. This is the 85, this one is supposed to be a little more flipper friendly. Um, I just, I'm, I didn't even bother taking the latch off. I, 
Kind of just bought it more of a collector's piece so I can have the old 8X series if that ends up coming out. I don't know, call me crazy. Uh, yeah, not too crazy about that one, but uh, I just collected it. It's a nice little piece. Next one, guys. This is actually my newest knife I bought, in, which is the um, BRS uh, Tie Bones. And guys, this thing, I gotta tell you guys, I love this thing so much already. Like, I've been waiting to get my hands on a Bare Bones, and then they dropped the Tie Bones, and I was like, dude, this thing is sick. I need to buy some Kuski's Barrels. Kuski barrel spacers, and I already have some uh, turbo jackalope, some uh, rehandles that were also anodized by no lead. So, but yeah, guys, the tie bones, super sick. I might be doing my next video on this one, so uh, make sure to stay tuned. My next BRS product is actually heavily modded, and that is the BRS replicants. Um, so this one does have. Uh, Kuski titanium handles along with the Clark custom regrind with the harpoon style blade and a mirror finish um, This thing flips pretty sick. It's more of like a little pretty piece to look at um, I really I want so many more replicants. There's just so many variations that I like but man this thing is sick I'm really happy I got it Moving on my last BRS product. What's a BRS collection without a chair? So this is the latched chab with the standard blade. Um, I just thought uh, I went ahead and got the standard blade just because of the uh, heavier handles I'd figure. If I get a 3.0 I'll get an alt, but this one's definitely sick. And this one is a pilot chab by the way. Um, what? Uh, you can't really see it, but I've kind of tiniest little ding on the tip and it broke my heart. It broke my heart. I only flipped this thing over carpet, which is what threw me off so much. I'm all careful now flipping it over a bed. It's a chap. Anyways, guys, ooh, we getting a little, little nice up here now. Okay, next one up. Ever since I laid eyes on this, this is the X10. The X10 by, I don't know how to pronounce it, Geoff Dumas. I'm not, I'm not sure how to pronounce your name, I apologize. But this thing is one sexy looking blade. I love the handles. It's a titanium sandwich construction with a sick blade. I love this thing so much. I was so happy I got it. Um, he takes forever, years, years to like, like if you place an order with him, yeah, it'll take years to get it. But um, definitely worth it. I would love an X11 or an X9, that'd be sick too. Next one we got guys, we are looking at the Planarian by Benson Blades. This thing is super sick. Um, I have one of the few out in the wild at this moment in time. He did post recently that he's gonna be dropping some more soon. This one also has a little ding too. Woo! The cool thing is that um, I didn't get the planarian I wanted, but Benson did hook me up with some cool textured spacers. I'm like, dude, you're such a nice guy. Thank you, man. And I almost lost this one in the mail. It got delivered and then it never got delivered. And then eventually, I still believe, I still have faith in humanity. Someone actually returned my package to my house. I couldn't believe it. I thought I lost the planarian forever, but I got it and I'm so happy. So guys, this next one is the Chaos Lights. Guys, this is actually the video um, my, on my last video. So if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. This, is, this thing is so sick. I've just loved looking at it sometimes. It's just got the cleanest looking handles and blade. Woo, looking really clean, really mean. Chaos like guys. Super sick. Super sick. So the next bell thing I got next is another little uh, a collector's piece for me. I don't like to flip it too much, um, it's, but I still flip all my knives anyway. And that is the DCB Recurve Genesis um, with Nichols Damascus. This thing is just so sick. I love the anodization. It's a nice little color combo. I, I, I Sometimes I'll just pull it out just to look at it. I only flipped this bad boy over a bed just because I, it's just so pretty to look at. I want to buy another Jenny just to make it one of my dailies because this thing is just such a sick blade. And some of the grinds on them just are insane. He does some sick work, so definitely check him out if you guys haven't already. Next one we are looking at, this is probably like ever since I jumped into the community, this thing has been my favorite ever since I laid eyes on it. 
And um, it's still to this day one of my favorites. And if you guys don't know, it is the JK Design and Joseph M. Hansen, um, or Hansen Metals, I guess he calls himself now, Monarch. This thing is so sick. It was my first pins list ballad song. Um, and I just love the blade. I love the balance. I love the handles. I love basically everything about this thing. I did get the one with bushings and little fun fact, um, JK does all, or Julian does all the uh, even numbers and Joseph does all the odd numbers. And I actually got this one from Joseph. So very nice ballad song. Probably easily top three. All right, next we got Guys, if you guys don't already know, I am a huge fan of Julian. JK Design makes some of the coolest blades out there. Um, I wanted to get each and every one of his pieces, and this one here is the Emissary, guys. Uh, another Damascus piece, guys. This thing is so sick with Damascus spacers. This thing is very handle heavy, but it's more of a collector's piece for me. Not saying I don't flip it, but it's just not one of my favorite flippers, though, unfortunately. But yeah, the emissary. Very sick. Very sick. Alright guys, another JK Design product. Oh my god, this is the Lava Tech or you know Harp or Poon Tech or I mean the real name's a light tech, but we got all these names for it. Um, I did get the red fat carbon scales with the uh, nice blackened blade and guys this thing with carbon fiber uh, spacers as well and this thing is pretty sick. I love this thing so much. I really want the other uh, light tech with, I think they call it the Simtech with a different blade. That thing's also pretty sick, but this thing is amazing. Woo! All right, my last JK Design product, and that is the JK Design Orca. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yo, this thing is so nice. I love the weight. I love the handles. It's so, I, I can't decide if I like my Monarch or the Orca better, but this thing is so sick. I, I love it so much just because it's a little lighter. Oh my God. And I love the little uh, blade, uh, blade engravings that he, little blade design that he did up here. So happy I got this one. Very sick piece, very sick piece. Julian, do not stop what you do, please. All right, guys, next one we got in line is um, from overseas. This one is the Ryworks Setsuna. This thing is the Kukri style blade. Um, very nice piece. Um, I just wanted to collect each and every one of his knives. Not so much all the blade styles, but each, you know. He has, uh, I think, four at the moment. So this is the Setsuna with G10 scales. It's a pretty nice flipper. I don't flip it a whole, whole lot, but I do like to pull it out every now and then. But yeah. Woo! Shoot, I'm running out of space here. I only got three blades left though, guys. So the next one I got is the Ryworks. I'm not even entirely sure how to pronounce it. The Omim, I like to call it. Um, this thing is so sick. It is the uh, Tonto style blade. Um, this is one of 99 and this thing is so minty. I don't even like flipping it so much. And I have this latch here that I want to remove, but I don't know, I just I haven't gotten around to it. Nice little piece here. Woo! You guys ready? Our next one up, guys, we got... If you guys follow me on Instagram, you probably already know what it is. It is the Ryworks Shinogi Konohishi. This has got to be uh, also my top three favorite knives. Um, this is Titanium Sandwich Construction um, Balasong. He does have another uh, Channel Construction Titanium Knife, which I really want to get my hands on. And I will, I will, just give me some time. But this this is probably my, my grail knife at the moment. Um, if some people hate on where I work, some people love them, I love them. Woo, all right, my last knife. I don't even know where to put it. I'm gonna like make some room right here. I'll put it sideways, we'll see. All right, so, all right, here we go. So the next bell song I have, I've actually never even posted on my Instagram. I don't know why specifically, but this thing is such a beauty to look at. Probably one of my prettiest looking ballad songs. And guys, that is the Jerry Hom Basilisk R Elite. I did get the uh, Gold, um, AKA Saudi Prince. This thing is just such a beauty to look at. It looked, ever since I laid eyes on it, it looks so amazing. Um, I do want to buy another Basilisk, 
so I can actually flip that one, but this one's more of a collector's piece and I just uh, can never get enough of it. I'm gonna set this right here. So guys, that pretty much concludes the end of my collection video. I tried talking as fast as I could, as much as I could on every one of these knives, but there's just so many things to say. I can talk all day about these knives. I just love them. I know there are quite a few knives on the table that um, I haven't done an unboxing on, uh, and that's partially because I've lost the unboxing footage on the knife, but I'll probably do uh, like an overview or something along those lines on the knife. So comment down below to see what knife you guys want to see on next, next video because I'll probably be doing next video on the uh, tie bones. So yeah guys, um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Like the video if you guys liked it and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Um, I can't thank you enough for staying this long in the video but anyways, you guys are awesome. Peace.